once I got stabbed, man, I used to have an eight pack. That's ain't, ain't no joke. Like, I used to literally have an eight pack. I used to be <laughs> vascular around my obliques and you know what I'm But it was crazy because what turned me around was when I got stabbed and I got that permanent scar. Like, for three years, like, I literally wouldn't take my shirt off in public. So, but I, when I was clear from the doctor, or actually before I was clear from the doctor, <laughs> I was working out. And, uh, so I was getting my physique back, but I just, I just was insecure about that scar. YouTube, how y'all doing? It's your boy, me, what's going on? Let me just keep it real with you. If y'all notice the Bart Simpson sound in my voice, sound like I've been drinking peanut butter out of a straw, it's because my sinuses are draining. I don't feel good. It feel like literally I stood behind a horse and they kicked me directly in the eye socket. Like I got a headache and all of that. What y'all think right now is that Kong sound like old female dog in the dictionary version. Yeah, Kong sound like old crybaby. <laughs> I'm still about to get it in, but I don't feel well. So again, when your elements are against you physically, we gotta go somewhere else. So we're gonna do some high rep arms, man. We're gonna superset, um, just get the blood into the muscle. Push, push, push. Uh, probably five sets of 20 each. Superset arms, I got no heavy stuff today. Um, like I like to bounce back and forth, man. Make sure y'all go. Jungle performance, October 20th to November 1st. That's gonna be the first wave of it. Then I'm gonna come back in January for the second wave. Different workouts, different routines, etc. I'm telling y'all right now, I don't do the same thing twice. Some days I have basic days. Some days I'm in a rush, I just do the basic movements and ain't nothing wrong with that because yeah, at the end of the day, basics work. But uh, a lot of times I'm super creative when, I'm, when it's coming to working. I'm not even joking. Anybody who's lifted with me, anybody who I've trained, they know I'm super creative. This is what I do. I love this. And people ask me about jujitsu, let me explain to you. After the Iron Wars, I will be back training jujitsu full time. Before that, I'm trying to keep the weight on. So when I train jiu-jitsu, I lose a lot of weight. I'm trying to keep the weight on. So I'm going to be training jiu-jitsu two or three days a week. Um, maybe just two to keep the weight up. Just so I can go up there and be able to push that weight like I need to. Uh, and that's it. I'm Guys, I'm super focused. And I got goal ADHD. What that means is when I'm, I like, got so many ideas, I jump back and forth. I want to strictly stay on what I got going on. And that's focusing on Iron Wars right now. So stay tuned, man. We got a lot of stuff coming. Jungle performance. October 20th, November 1st. If you don't get those, boom, you ain't getting nothing. I'm gonna keep it real, it's hard. I'm already asthmatic, so any sinus, anything I got, it's tough, man, but around this time of year, I get sinuses. We don't make no excuses, man. We still get nose, for sure.
bro. This is, this is the most, man, focused I've ever, ever been lifting. Like since, you know, for me, I never lifted for, for anything other than just the fact that I loved it. Like when I was in my twenties, of course, you looked at lifting, you wanted to be big, you wanted to be swole like the dudes you see growing up and stuff like that. And you want to get the girls and all that. But you know, like I was playing all the time. Once I got stabbed, man, I used to have an eight pack. That's ain't, ain't no joke. Like I used to literally have an eight pack. I used to be <laughs> vascular around my obliques and you know what I'm But it was crazy because what turned me around was when I got stabbed and I got that permanent scar, like for three years, like I literally wouldn't take my shirt off in public. So, but I, when I was clear from the doctor, or actually before I was clear from the doctor, <laughs> I was working out. And uh, so I was getting my physique back, but I just, I just was insecure about that scar. And then I realized, man, that, you know, after an incident happened where I was playing basketball, and we was playing shirts and skin, and a buddy of mine ripped my shirt off, said, man, nobody care about that. You a survivor, so. And I hooped that day with my shirt off, so after that, it was like, what the hell wrong with you, man? You know what I'm saying? Fitness is a love, bro. Like, vanity fades. We want to be young forever. When I say I want to be young forever, that means I just want to be active. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I'm not about to get on, I'm not in the beauty pageant, man. This is not why I do this. Um, so when I, I learned that at a very young age, so then, all the things that I thought about fitness turned into what it was doing for me mentally. And the fact that I was mentally broken because I didn't look a certain way changed my life, man. So fitness now is love, man. I'm, I've never been this focused. I'm home there, man. And, and shout out to Cali, man, again, for even putting a battery in my pack. Shout out to everybody around me who love me and, you know what I'm saying, support me because this is this, this the best version of calm, man, ever. on the triceps, y'all be talking about my big bro triceps, talking about he ain't got no triceps. He ain't got no triceps. Man got 23 inch arms. Y'all looking at some triceps. How about you try to accept the fact that your arms look like Raymond noodles and you do something about your physique instead of worrying about somebody else. Ain't nobody got no triceps. <laughs> different content they want to see me do this they want to see me do that guys let me tell you something I'm I'm gonna submit myself in this game as a fitness influencer a, a fitness motivator a, a, a fitness trainer like I love that stuff you know what I'm saying um, when, when it's time for jujitsu that's coming but like I said I have to take my time because if I start jumping around even though it's still going to be me, 
When I start jumping around, me personally lose focus. Okay, me personally lose focus. Guys, I'm, I'm in my 40s, dog. So to train jujitsu and look, it's not, my workout's not gonna be, you know what I'm saying? They, they gonna have to, you have to sacrifice some of you my age and you got a couple things going on with your body. You know, I got a couple, couple, couple pre-existing injuries. So I'm gonna say injuries, it's things that hurt still. So when it's time for me to focus on the judicial content because I want to compete in no gi, that's what I'm gonna do. But right now, I, I, my thing is, is this. This is where we at. This is why I do the comedy stuff to keep a little stuff here and there. I might sprinkle some here, but at this, at this point, I'm solidifying myself. This is what I want to be. This is jungle performance. I want that to be huge, man. I want people all over to get that because it's a lot of people that don't feel like they can achieve certain things. They can't achieve certain goals because they look at a person like me who's not the best looking fitness dude in the industry at all by, by far. So I'm presenting a package. I'm presenting a mentality. Bust your behind. Mentally. Let's, let's cut all that other garbage out. Let's just do this. I got 60 pounds on this high curl. If you can't do 60, I need you to do 10. I need you to do 10, but I need you to have the same mentality that we pulling this until we can't pull them on, until we get them reps in. That's what I'm promoting, man. That's what I'm selling. So that's nothing to do with how this. The only thing I know, it's really all I got is jujitsu and fitness. That's me. That's just me. That's what's been me for the last 15 years. So, but this is who I am. This is what I'm doing right now. Until January 7th, when I go accomplish the goal that I'm trying to accomplish, then we will start switching it up. So that's it, man. Dope little arm pump. Super set of everything, man. We literally did uh, six sets. So we did one bicep, one tricep, one bicep, one tricep, one bicep, one tricep. So we did six sets of stuff. Um, four, four sets of between 15 and 20, whatever you can pull at that point, because we had a very, very short break. So good blow. You know what I'm saying? I got them BBCs. I know. <laughs> I know what y'all. I know what y'all think. you are like <laughs> BBC. <laughs> Not that BBC. I'm joking. No. Bicep. Buster. Curls. Should we get shirts made for that? We ain't got no merch yet. So let me not even jump ahead. See, I, my ideas be going. Anyway, man, like and subscribe to the channel, man. Um, doing that exercise, sweating a little bit, kind of broke that congestion on my eye. Feel a little less like a horse kicked it, and now kind of like a, you know, got hit with a baseball. So. I think I'm feeling a little bit better, man. Still got a little headache, though. I'm gonna get something to eat, man. Lay it down and um, catch on next time, man. Make sure you like, subscribe to the channel, man. Share. You know, help me out, man. We doing good things, man. Hey, YouTube. I stopped cursing. YouTube, help me out, man. I'm trying to get it, man. I had a good little little run. Don't take me out to algorithms, man. Please. Let your boy get on, man. Shout out to everybody who support me, man. October 20th through the 1st. Jungle Performance. Dope, man. I'm really, I'm really taking my time putting this together. It's gonna be a good thing, man. So if y'all really trying to get it in, we're going into the new year. We're gonna get swole. We're gonna cut this weight off. We're gonna do whatever you need to do. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel though, because if you don't. I'm on bus. Here.